focused on winning football games as you do and do throughout the year. When you have great coaches, then after you have great coaches, you get great players. You have a great organization, and you tell them one thing. Just win, baby. to another two for one nation podcast i'm one of your hosts sc raiders talk aka your boy eric and also 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 tuan will be joining us in just a bit he's running a little late he's running a little late but obviously we got i wouldn't say a lot to talk about but one main thing to talk about and it's it's the talk of the town you could say right the quarterback controversy Will the Raiders trade up? Multiple sources say they will, and they will attempt to. A lot of people good with what we have. Other people are not content with what we got. And we got that huge debate to talk about. So it's going to be very interesting today. It's going to be very interesting. And also, 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 uh, shout out to everybody that's in here so far. Let me shout out everybody that's in here so far. Let me actually change this back to this while we wait for, uh, for, uh, our boy Tuan real quick. I'll just keep this up for now. Shout out to everybody that's in here, man. Robert Panda, what's good? What's good? Good to see you, Raider Way. What's good? Salute, salute. Raiders Rebel Unleash in the building. What's good? Raiders Way, what's good? What's good? Carlos D, what's good? Salute. The future looks bright. Hashtag just win, baby. You already know what it is. Shout out to Milo Hunt. AOC is my quarterback. Okay, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. The critique, what's good? Critique, good to see you, man. Football as well. The future looks bright. I feel that. No one is above the shield. That's a fact. That's a fact. Shout out to SoCal Sal. What's good? Cali Raider in the building. What up, Cali Raider? What's good? Jeffrey, what's good? Salute, salute. Shout out to everybody in here, man. Daniel Berry, Sports Highlights. What's good? Salute. My two cents. SoCal Sal. I'm not sure if I saluted you, but what's good? What's good? New here? Hey, welcome. Welcome, Cali Raider, man. Hopefully you like the content, man. Hey, subscribe if, if you end up liking it, right? Um, but shout out to everybody, man. Of course, we got a lot of things to talk about. Some interesting things today. And, um, you know, of course, Twan is running a little late. And, it, you know, as you can see here, uh, Cali Raiders new here. If you're also new here, um, there's a two for one nation podcast every Thursday. Every Thursday between me and my boy Raider Twan. Every Thursday around this similar time, all the time. And then on Tuesdays is my individual show at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 9 p.m. Eastern, and if you guys missed it, I would recommend to go see it because I have a new setup, as you can see right here alone, right? You you guys see right here, this is one of the setups for the individual show. Um, and besides that, I have another setup, which actually, you know, if you guys don't want to go back, I could actually show you guys uh, a new setup on my individual show that I'm very excited about. And um, it's going to bring a new, you know, it's going to bring a new... I want to say twist. They'll bring a new atmosphere to it, right? So let me show you guys real quick. This is the new thing. You feel me? The new thing in general. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. That's the new little, you feel me? Little setup for uh, that day, of course. Um, but yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome everybody that's new here and stuff like that. But for now, you feel me? We, we, we go talk about some quarterback controversy across the nation, not only 
is what's good lake show what's good lake show good to see you um not only is it a, the, a huge debate but also 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 um you know of course there's different scenarios across the nation of what people are saying some people are saying stick with aoc some people are saying Jada daniels other people are saying stay put shout out to randy what's good randy raider gabe in the building what's good good to see everybody in here man but let's get straight into it right the first thing is first things first are the Raiders all in on Jaden Daniels, man? What you guys think? Are they all in on Jaden Daniels? For me, it's a possibility. I will say that. I will say that 100%. It's a possibility. But are they all in? You feel me? It's one thing to make the call. It's another thing to be all in on it. Um, and uh, also, there's other scenarios which we'll talk about right now. And I see somebody in the chat put some someone that I'm I'm a I'm gonna talk about soon. Um, that you could easily get in the second round, which is Penix. Which if you guys didn't see his pro day today, had a pretty good pro day. Looked good today. Um, just like Jada Daniels looked good on his pro day. All these guys look good on their pro day. So, you know that's good signs, right? That's positives across the board. It's good to see Penix out there, especially with the. Um, the national championship injury, you could say, because he was playing with hurt ribs. Um, shout out to Pizzle. What's good, Pizzle? And Randy says, I hope not. So let's get straight into it, right? Jaden Daniels is obviously the number one on the Raiders board. And that's 100% obvious across every every media, every, every time Antonio Pierce talked, every time Tom Telesco has talked, you could easily see. That Jaden Daniels is the number one out there, um, and, and let me let me let me let me bring on my co-host. I believe he's backstage, man, and you already know what it is, man. The two for one nation podcast is not one for one nation; it's two for one nation. You know that means there's two brothers on the screen, man. And let me switch this before I continue. My boy here, man. Y'all know him. Y'all love him. My boy here, man. The 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 king of brown crackers. You feel me? My boy Raider. Juan in the building. I don't know why it's not showing you. Give me a second. There we go. There we go. Hey, what's good? What's good? Hey, blessings to everybody. Two for One Nation podcast. Two brothers for One Nation. And y'all know it's the Raider Nation. Yeah. Shout out to everybody, man. Hit that like button. <laughs> Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, man. And we, you, you feel me? There's no two for one without. Uh, my host, my other host here, man. Shout out to everybody coming in, man. Alfredo, what's good? Good to see everybody in here, man. Damn, your nightbot is working, bro. My nightbot does not want to work, bro. My nightbot does not want to work, bro. You, you, you know, I, 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 I talked to my girl a little bit, you know, saying before we start every show, you might, you might have to talk to your, your, your girl before, before you start the show. Make, make sure she's working right. <laughs> and nightbot on tripping. Hey. Shout out to everybody, man. Oh, go ahead. They it no, nah, but for real, it's been tripping like that for like the past couple of weeks. It it, it want to work some days, some sometimes it don't want to work. You know, I get. I guess they think you know they they feel it's the off season too, so they feel like they they should get some days off, even though we trying to we trying to grind this thing out. Yeah, and uh, you know, obviously we're talking about Jada Daniels. That's the talk of all morning today. Uh, I've been seeing across the, the the media and everything. So what do you think, man? Do you think the Raiders are all in on Jaden Daniels? I think they're in, okay. but I don't think they're all in. Okay. Hear me out on it. Mm-hmm. I think they're in on Daniels. I think they're really intrigued about Daniels. I think they would love to get Daniels, but if the price is just way, way too high, I think I think they'll be fine just to, to – you know, hey, we'll catch you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, somewhere down the road. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it might, you know, and I hate to say it like that, but if they really do like Jaden Daniels, who knows? He might say, hey, after my rookie contract, I want to move on. You know what I'm saying? I want, I really want to play with AP. So I'm not saying that that's what they're really banking on, but I think, I, again, I think they're in on Daniels. I think that's the guy that they want. But if the prices is way, way too high, especially with all the other things that we still need to address, address according to this team, I, I don't think you know. Even Tom Telesco, I think Tom Telesco would be like, "Hey, 
I know you really like AP. I know I, I know you like Jaden Daniels AP, but we got to take care of X, Y, and Z. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's the the yin and yang into um, you know the relationship between Coach AP and Telesco. I think AP is one of those guys. Hey, let's go get it. Let's go get it. And Telesco's like, hold on, <laughs> we got to fill out this team. You know what I'm saying? There's some pieces we got to do. I'm thinking, you know. AP's thinking right now, and a lot of us fans are thinking right now, but Telesco's also looking at down the road, you know what I'm saying? So I think they're in, but I don't think they're where it's like throw everything just to go get Daniels. Kelly Raider says, I truly believe they're all in on JD5 reports coming in. AP interest in JJ McCarthy. Raider Paul, the fellow JJ McCarthy fan. What's good? What's good, Paul? Uh, uh, Randy says, I'll be clear. I don't hate Daniels. I just don't want to give up what they ha- have to give up for him. I feel that, man. Shout out to everybody coming in, man. Salute, salute. Hope all is one. Raider gave us a question for you, man. What is too high? What do you think is too that, high? That, 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 that is definitely a question to ask. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's price, everybody's price is a little different, right? And like, you know, just, just like, uh, Brother Randy said, you know, it's it's a situation where if we're looking in the draft and he slides, you know what I'm saying, out of that one, two, three, and he's like right there, four or five, that's not going to, the price for for us to jump up to there is not going to be as high as jumping up to, um, you know, like the number one, right? The number one, what what I've seen or what I've heard that they – kind of the asking price was like three first in like two seconds or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So th- think about how much you can get off of that. You know what I'm saying? Value wise, just to go get one guy, you know what I'm saying? So I, I would say I would throw two first at him. You know what I'm saying? Our first this year, maybe our first next year and may, maybe throw in a kicker pick after that you know maybe but anything out in anything outside of that i think would be way too high so you 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 have to factor in and and you have to factor in there's other things that we're going to need and there's going to be other contracts that we have right now that are going to expire in about a year or two so what do we do to replace that so it, said, it, it's up. really up to Telesco and them. Gabe said he's giving up three first. Who in here were actually watching the Raiders in the early 2000s because I was and it wasn't pretty. Signing these old mediocre quarterbacks constantly will not change anything. Here's the thing with that, right? <clears throat> you know, we had so many quarterbacks before Carr. You know, we had so many quarterbacks. Even now, we've had what? Um, I would say what? AOC, uh, AOC Brian Hoyer started one. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. Am I missing somebody? I might be missing somebody. Oh, Jared Stidham in that second half. Four quarterbacks in the span of pretty much two seasons. <laughs> that is crazy alone, right? And here was the thing. Here's the thing with it, right? The We have a, a you could call it a blueprint already, on what is it going to take to go up to the number three spot because pretty much I believe the number three spot will end up being where Jaden Daniels will fall or either four, depending on if they rate somebody like Drake May higher or JJ McCarthy higher, right? So we have a blueprint already. There was a guy, right, that was picked a couple years back and was the third overall pick. Now you know you got if if you know you know you'll see where I'm heading with this. He is arguably, they did arguably one of the worst trades in all of the NFL history. (laughs) Now, this is by a team that has built and has been to the Super Bowl twice in the the span of, I would say, what, six to eight years? I I forgot when was the first time they went recently. Mm -hmm. And it goes by the name of Trey Lance. Now, Trey Lance is somebody that the Niners went up to the third overall pick, and it took three first round picks alone for Trey Lance. And this was 20, uh, 
I believe, if I'm not mistaken, what year was it? 2021. Three years ago. Three years ago, technically. 2021, so it's recent time. Now, I'm going to give you another trade, and this doesn't involve the draft, but it involves the quarterback. Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson got traded from uh, an old Russell Wilson, by the way, because he's older now. Went from the Seattle Seahawks to the Denver Broncos. And the Denver Broncos gave up two first rounders, two second rounders, a fifth, and three different players in Drew Locke, Noah Fant, which was their starting tight end at the time, by the way, and Shelby Harris, which was their starting defensive lineman. And that was for Russell Wilson. Now, I'm giving you these guys two blueprints, two. Um, two two different things that have happened recently that we could go based on and we could assume what it would take to go up to the third overall spot. Now, my question to you guys is, would you guys do it? And I think, and and you, and, and I'll add on to that because I think I think we we definitely need to paint the paint the picture here too, Eric. Is those two examples you gave? You gave an example of a team that really didn't have a fully built team. Mm. And then you have an example of a team that had a fully built team. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's talk about it. The Broncos, they didn't have a fully built team. Mm. Okay. And they, and they swung for the fences, right? They missed. Where are they setting now? Not looking good. Right. Versus the Niners. Fully built team. They swung for the fences and it didn't have them land so far. Far. You know what I'm saying? Like they're they're obviously Brock Purdy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they're back in the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? So they're in a situation where um I would like for us to get. But we also have to ask ourselves, and let's be real honest. Sometimes we got to take off our Raider cap. Mm -hmm. Let's be really honest about where this roster is built. You know how how this how it's really built. Are are we are we solid like like the Niners are in regards to roster and depth, or are we kind of like the Broncos? Or we I, I'm gonna say we're a little better than the Broncos. I, I'll I'll we're give better that. than the Broncos. Yeah. Are, are we are we closer to the Broncos spectrum, or are we are we at the Niners spectrum? You know what I'm saying? And 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 if you're saying, hey, we're not fully at the Niner spectrum, then I the 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 fall of swinging that hard, you know what I'm saying, and investing that much, we're gonna we're we're gonna feel it similar to what the Broncos are feeling. So that it, that that's how it, it can possibly play out for us. And if we like, you know, and and that's where. You know, I you know, I, I can't I can't speak for Eric on this one, but that's kind of where I'm at in the sense of really fully building out this team because after you fully build out the team, linebackers, uh uh, uh offensive line, you know what I'm saying, all those other pieces. Yes, we believe in our defense, but when you start looking at the 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 depth behind the starters, what 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 is it? What really is it? There's question marks, right? If if we fully if we fully do that, hey, you can swing you can swing as hard as you want because you're not gonna fall as far as you know what I'm saying as other teams because no matter what you still got a solid roster around whoever you have under center. So as as much as I like it, as much as I, it really for me it just depends on what what they're what they're what they're intending to give up. I'm not willing to give up the entire farm just just to to swing for the fences and then we 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 fall, you know what I'm saying, even worse because now we, you know what I'm saying, we're 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 kind of like the uh the Panthers situation in regards to how the the roster's going. So that's that, that's that's how I see it. But that but um, those are good examples of of how far we can fall if we swing and then how far we can fall if a team is really built out in, in, in regards to um, going after that guy. 
I'm gonna get through some of the comments and then I'll uh, I'll I'll address my take on 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 that whole thing on, on where we're at and all that stuff. Shout out to Cali Raider. Hey, don't even get me started on that those quarterbacks. Hey, put respect on Carson Palmer, my USC guy. I'm just kidding. Nah, <laughs> he disappointed me when he came over here, bro. I'll give you a stat in the last ten years. Only three quarterbacks taken in the top five made it to the Super Bowl. Does anybody know who they are? In the top five in the last ten years. Well, for sure not Trey Lance. I mean, technically he made the Super Bowl, right? As a backup. I mean, I wouldn't really consider that. I wouldn't really consider that. Um, I would probably have to fucking think about it. But let me get through these comments real quick. What's Nike slogan? Just do it. Yeah, that's Nike slogan. Randy says, I've asked the questions before, but what team that traded up for the future up to go up in the top three for a can't miss quarterback and then won a Super Bowl with that quarterback? Mm. In recent times, not really anybody. Everybody always stayed still. I will say that. Like Patrick Mahomes, for instance, they were at that pick. They didn't trade up, I believe. Um, yeah. Trading up? No. I think <laughs> picking in the top 10, that's different, though. If picking in the top 10 is different. But if it's, like you said, trading up, I, I can't really name a quarterback, bro. Uh, oh, and then he said it. Uh, Joe Burrow, Matthew Stafford, and my man Carson Wentz. And only one of those three have one Super Bowl. Do not trade up. Carson Wentz has that Super Bowl. You know what's crazy to think about it? Actually, Matthew Stafford has it. Uh-huh. To think about like somebody like Joe Burrow that had so much promise has not won a Super Bowl. And the guy, like, I remember, I don't know if you remember this. When we had our old quarterback, when Joe Burrow, the Joe Burrow topic popped up, everybody said that he was such a, such a, like he's going to win the Super Bowl. He's like the best of the best and all this different stuff. I, I know his injuries kind of cost him, but. Kind of shows you feel me like injuries are a big factor too, man. And, but, and, and a simple injury could screw up somebody's career. But even with even with that Stafford team, you know what I'm saying? That, that team, team, that team was was built. You know what I'm saying? That team was built, and all they needed, all they needed was that that quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To to take them over the top. So it that's. Those are questions we really have to. Again, I, 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 I hate to say it because people are gonna be like, "You ain't a Raider fan," but sometimes you gotta take off the Raider cap and look at it. Are we only a quarterback away, or are we actually a quarterback and some starting pieces away? And yeah. what and what is it gonna take? What is it gonna require for us to get those starting pieces on this roster? Cause you can't just say it, 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 the, the, you can't say it's solely money. I'll, I'll say that you, you can't just solely use money. Cause that ain't, that ain't, that ain't going to help the situation. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I just want to get through the comments cause I see a lot of like both sides and I, I'm about to say my side and my side kind of touches on both sides. I'm not really on either side and I'll, I'll tell you guys why right now. Shout out to Holly Tanner. She says, F them picks. <laughs> Shout out to Jay Dog. What's good? But let them hype up so Jaden falls. Raider Waste is depth next year. Until then, free agents. Frank White, what's good? SC, we moving up to take Daniels. The writing is on the wall. Okay. Uh, uh, shout out to everybody coming in. Brian Rodriguez, I'll take Penix at 13 and keep the draft picks. Penix will be there in the second round. I would not take Penix at 13, respectfully. I love Penix. He was somebody that was my guy. But his injuries drop him. Um, and they're solid yet to miss as uh, the Niners did. Shout out to everybody coming in, man. Lake Show was good, but scared money, but don't make money. Hey, there you go. That's my slogan, right? Hey, I'm a full-blown SC fan. I'm from Cali. Hey, I feel that, man. I can see it right there. You already know, man. USC fight on all day, man. The three ones will cost the most eventually. If they hit, get the guy you want and build uh, with the second round later picks. I saw the Raiders were meeting with Michael Hires as Sanford quarterback and what they're about. They also, they also went with Joe Milton. I believe there was another guy that they 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 went up for. Um, they traded up for Mahomes. Oh my bad, but he wasn't considered a top ten. Yep, yep, you're right. Shout out to Jaw Raider. What's good, Jaw Raider? Shout out to everybody coming in, man. Hit that like button, subscribe if you know we got 54 plus, man. If you can't see somebody's comment, it's probably because they're on the other channel. We're simulcasting on Raider Twan channel and the SC Raiders talk. Now, let me get straight into it, right? And oh my god, I'm about to cook real quick. So get bear with me, y'all. I might talk a little. But look, let with, him cook. Let I'm, I'm him cook. Some, I'm gonna give you guys some uh uh different scenarios that have happened in the, in the NFL. 
one side of the spectrum I understand. I understand both sides of the spectrum, right? There's two. Trade up for Jaden Daniels. There's factors to that, right? Some things that have happened about the how do I say it? There's factors to do with, with, with the NFL. And this and specifically, I would like to say, uh, when it comes to the spectrum of trading everything for Jaden Daniels, the Raiders have not been good in the first round recently. And that's one of the um, things I want to bring up on that on on that side of the fence, right? The the trade up for Jane and Daniels. Most of our first rounders are gone. They they don't they don't really pan out or they don't pan out at all. Tyree Wilson still has a lot of promise from recent time, obviously, and that was our most recent first round pick. But besides that, we've had no first round in 2022. You guys got to remember, we didn't have a first round pick in 2022. We didn't have a first round pick in 2022. Alex Leatherwood was the first round pick in 2021. Henry Ruggs was the first round pick in 2020, and Damon Arnett was a first round pick in 2020. Cleely Farrell and Josh Jacobs both first round picks in 2019. Colton Miller and PJ Hall both in 2018, and PJ Hall is not here no more. Colton Miller is. Garyon Conley was the first round pick for us in 2017, gone. Carl Joseph first round pick in 2016, gone. That alone looks like 90% of our first rounders in the last eight. I mean, six to ten years are gone, pretty much, are gone, Mm ninety percent of them. The only people left is Colton Miller, Tyree Wilson, obviously, and that that that's pretty much from the list I have here. About the only ones that here, and Josh Jacobs was here and then left, right? So that's first round picks. That's one side of the fence, and and I'm gonna repeat this to everybody coming in. I'm I'm not on either side of the fence. I understand both sides. I'm just giving you guys a clear view of both sides. Why I think both sides are not wrong, right? That's the that's the side of the fence of trading up for 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 Jaden Daniels. The first way, the the first round picks are not that good. They haven't been good on our spectrum. They have not. They have not helped us at all. Now, the other thing too, right? Look at the Rams. The Rams won the Super Bowl. They gave up all their first rounders. They bought that Super Bowl pretty much, some may say, right? And what did they do recently? They have built a team that is young, right? Off of third, fourth, fifth, sixth round picks. You guys want to give you a name? Puka. Puka. The wide receiver was not a first, not a second. He was in day three, I believe. They're showing the blueprint there for the Rams how to build a team. And I believe their defensive tackle, let me get his name right as well. Um, Kobe Turner, another guy, was not picked in the first round or second. I believe not even second. I think it was third. Yep, Kobe Turner was in the third, and Puka was in the fifth. And they're building a squad over there with, with later round picks. Shout out to Cool Kev. What's good, Cool Kev? So that's one side of the spectrum, right? That's one of the one side of the spectrum, and that's the pull the trigger and go up and get Jaden Daniels, and you will still be able to build the team. Now let me go to the other side of the spectrum. S- staying with what we got, right? Staying with what we got, and this is the other side of the spectrum. I'm just giving you guys both sides. You know, like I said, I don't think either side is wrong. Um, the other side of the spectrum is keeping the picks. Now think of a scenario like this, right? Aiden O'Connor gets a full off season. With Gardner mentioned there to push him, it's extending him and making him play better because of all the competition, right? The competition that's there. Not only that, he has a real offensive coordinator now. A real one, right? A real one there. In that side of the spectrum. With properly Getsy, right? You're not at the end of the day. He didn't do good with Justin Fields, but maybe that's just a quarterback and him thing, right? That they didn't. The whole Chicago Bears was just going through the, the mud and all these different things and yada, 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 right? And more yada, 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 right? Um, and obviously, on that side of the spectrum, imagine getting Fuaga at 13. You get your future right tackle. Now, you have pretty much your offensive line except for your right guard position. Now, think of this scenario. Thayer Mudford moves from the right tackle spot to the guard position. Thayer Munford played guard before and was really good at it, by the way, in college. He only allowed one sack in his whole time of being a guard. Now you have that big guy at the right guard. 
And now you have Puaga on that right tackle spot. You have your offensive line. And now you have a quarterback that has another year under his belt with people like head coaching experience guys like Marvin Lewis and all these different things and all these coaching staffs in general. With a defense now, with a defensive line, that's probably going to be top five, top ten easily next year. That's going to perform. Now you think of that side of the spectrum, right? And you keep your second round, your third round picks, whatever. You go get a Michael Penix, Bo Nix, maybe Joe Milton in the third, fourth, fifth. All these guys to back up AOC and Gardner Minshew. So not only do you have a veteran now, you have a second year guy that has started before in the NFL with now having another offseason in his belt. And now you have a guy like Michael Penix or somebody that is really good, that has the potential, or Bo Nix. Or Bo Nix, or even JJ McCarthy might fall. Who knows? These guys that have so much potential behind these guys, learning, and eventually will take over. That's the other side of the spectrum. And in my opinion, I don't think both sides are wrong. I don't know about you, Twan. I'm, I'm cool with either or. I mean, I, I, some people are like, "Oh, you're an idiot if you think that." You're an idiot. At, at the end of the day, we need to stop kind of criticizing each other for stuff that we're both right about. And and this and I believe this debate here is right on both sides of the of the spectrum. Would I be mad if we go up and get Jaden Daniels? Hell no. Would we would I be mad if we go out there and get a future right tackle at 13? Hell no. Would I be mad if we trade back? We have two second round picks and the first, a late first, and we still get our future right tackle or our future cornerback, plus multiple guys in the second round, a quarterback and maybe another tackle, guard, anything. I'm cool with it. At the end of the day, I'm cool with both spectrums because both are right. And just looking at it, there's different NFL teams that have shown blueprints on both sides of the ball. And for me personally, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little taken back a little from what you need to give up to be in those top three picks. <laughs> but what I'm hoping for, and this is the best case scenario for both sides. Jaden Daniels drops to four or five, and you don't have to give up three first round picks. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I'm trying to let you cook because I, 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 I'm with you. Like, mm-hmm. I, 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 everybody, everybody should know by now. If the world was mine, I would want Jaden Daniels on this team, but I. To get to try to snag him up there in the top three again, I just feel like the price is going to be way too high. So if he does, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm, I'm not completely opposed to the trade up, but mm. not that high. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if if he goes, if he lands four or five, you know what I'm saying? Like if 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 Caleb goes off the board, if um uh May goes off the board, if if all of a sudden, surprise, J- J- JJ gets picked, you know what I'm saying, and Jaden is sitting there, okay, go get him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. But I'm not mortgaging the entire house just for a quarterback to come here and then he's running for his life because his offensive line hasn't got figured out. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying, he – <laughs> it, it, there's a you know we 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 haven't addressed corner. You know what I'm saying? There's there's a lot. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that that we need to figure out. And and I feel like with Telesco in here, I think Telesco's bread and butter is when is in his higher picks. So you know if we're taking that away from him, what is he going to be able to work with? You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's where, you know, there there's a there's a cause for, you know, concern in regards to in which we go about. But I'm look, I'm cool either way. I know that we need to get yeah. a quarterback. I know we need to adjust quarterback at some yeah. point, but I also feel like we also need to fill out this roster and not just on, on the top end, but on the back end. Are 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 we are we, com- are we comfortable with with our with our backup linebacker if Diablo goes down? Oh, by the way, Di- Diablo's been her- hurt for like the past two years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't been completely. He hasn't played a, co- a complete full full uh, season of, of, of football. Are we are we cool with <laughs> are we cool with that? 
Are we cool with um, Hobbs having to play on the outside because we don't have an outside corner? So we have to put Hobbs on the outside when we know Hobbs' bread and butter is <laughs> at slot. So that that's where again, I I even even the 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 F picks like I think there there's a barometer on what do you mean by F picks? Are you telling me that we're given for the next two three years we're not going to have a first round pick because? You know what I'm saying? Because we went to go get Jaden Daniels at number two. You know what I'm saying? Instead of waiting to see if he falls or whatever the situation may be. So I think to less, I think I think it all boils down to what AP said yeah. in regards to how the roster is going to get you know f- filled out. Coach AP yeah. said that he's leaning on Telesco on 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 bringing in the groceries. And I think that's where it lies. And we might have to look at more. We have to might have to look at more of what Telesco does in regards to drafts. Does he like to move up? You know what I'm saying? Is that a part of his, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is that a part of his game? You know what I'm saying? And and if it ain't, then we might, we might be, you know, we might be making noise just yeah. to be making noise at this point. So we got two different takes here. Uh, I mean, actually, same takes. Um, Gabe says most quarterbacks that fall, uh, that fail, are quarterbacks that are drafted on the wrong situation. Jaden Daniels fits perfectly with the Raiders. He has a father figure in the head coach. He's made for the nation. Hashtag fuck them picks. Raider Rebel says Max Crosby, fifth round. Malcolm Coons, third round. Trevon, second round. Amongst all our star players were drafted in the later rounds. Just got to do your homework. And I think Tom Telesco does his homework. Holly Tanner's on the F them picks. What are we gonna say for the other one? Like, like a hashtag, right? So one side is hashtag F them picks. What's the other one? Hashtag stay put. Hashtag, hashtag stay put. Hashtag, I don't know. Hashtag, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, we gotta come up with the hashtag. <laughs> um, Cali Reyes says rather have a left-handed quarterback that only has a max of eight years in the league or younger, more talented quarterback that we can have for years. Michael Penix is older. That is the knock. That is the knock. Um, offensive line was better when everybody is making a seem as all we need is a right guard. Well, I think the main problem with the offensive line was the fact that they switched the scheme around. Again, I think that was the problem because the year before that, the offensive line was pretty decent. And then the following year, which is the most recent year, they just looked like garbage. And they looked out of sync. And I think it's because the scheme flipped. Now the scheme is going back to how it originally was, which I believe it's a zone scheme now. Um, it used to be power, now it's zone, which I think will benefit people like Zamir and will benefit the offensive line. I do think that. I think it switches to zone. If I'm not mistaken, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But I, I think but I, I think it actually is leaning more towards the zone. I think yeah. um, Getsy, that's kind of his his thing, and then we have James Craig here. So you know, the the the, the offensive line has the abilities of actually getting coached up. The guys that we currently have, you know, what I'm saying, and and that that's still. You know what I'm saying? I'm still I'm still rooting for Thayer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As, as a late round pick. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But we 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 got to um we got to make it make make it work. If JD not possible, really like Panics with an arm on that kid. He's got an arm, man. It's just his injury is the only thing that knocks him, bro. Uh, I think we will take a full swing at Daniels. Offer a big package, but if they say no, go to pe- get Panics. Okay. I've been saying this. If the D-line is doing their job and getting the quarterback, you are not going to need elite DBs. And that's what I said. I said that before. Antoine could vouch for that. I said that before. With a great defensive line, all you need is good enough corners. Good enough. <laughs> and they will perform. Um, shout out to Ray Love. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, no. no. Shout, shout out to Ray Love in the pool. <laughs> they hashtag get JD5. Uh, we have to beat Minnesota out in the order to get number three. Um, shout out to everybody, man. I'm just catching up to the chat. Good to see everybody in here, man. Um, but also, it's not guaranteed that Jaden Daniels will pop out, uh, uh, out any draft picks. You know, feel me? Could, could, it all depends on the coaching staff, in my opinion. I think the coaching staff dictates a rookie's career. And I truly mean that because if a player falls into the wrong hands of a bad coach, 
and a bad position coach, they will not look too good. And their progression will go like this until they go to another team. So for me personally, obviously that's another factor too on that Jaden Daniels is, is the fact that, you know, is, is he going to end up good? Which I think so because Antonio Pierce will bring the best out of him and he's got people around him and stuff like that. Um, but obviously, you know, the other thing, um, the other question that I have for you guys, man, and I know some people already kind of said their answer in a sense. Shout, shout out to Natural Born Raiders. was good, Dirty. Um, what to do, what to do. Um, is trading up worth it, Tuan? Is trading up worth it, y'all? What you think? For the right person, yeah. Okay. I, you know, and, and you know, it, some people might say, may say, make it sound like I'm contradictory, but I, that's, I talk both sides. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like, again, if we're, if we're, if we're focused on Jaden Daniels, a, like I said, I, I would like for him to be somewhere in that four or five range before we start looking at moving up. And that still might be a battle of, of throwing hella picks at, at, at Jaden Daniels um, in, in a sense, because we're, we might have to battle um, Minnesota, you know what I'm saying? For, <laughs> for Jaden, you know what I'm saying? And they have two first rounds this year <laughs> that they can throw at, you know what I'm saying? At, 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 at that situation on top of whatever they have for years to come. So it still might be a situation where we're throwing a whole bunch of picks just to go get them. But if he, if he, if he falls at it, I think, I think the one, two, three, I think going up to there, pretty much everybody's a lock, you know what I'm saying? For, for getting, for getting their guy. And they're not going to want to move unless you throw something really, really, you know what I'm saying, ridiculous at them. And and I think after that, I think you might be able to play ball, you know what I'm saying, and negotiate something after that. So that's why I'm looking at that that bracket, you know what I'm saying, after the one, two, three, that we can go up and and then I I, I could foresee that being some some worth there. Facts. Um, shout out to everybody in here, man. Shout out to, um, I believe Freight Train was good. Freight Train, good to see you, man. Hope all is well. Shout out to everybody coming in, man. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Shout out to Eric Raiders Haters Hunter, Erica Channel. What's good? Good to see you, man. Hope all is well. I'm not sure if I saluted you though, but what what's good? T09, what's good? T09, good to see you. Hope all is well. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Um, and and shout out to everybody coming in, man. We appreciate it. We got 70 plus, man, between two channels. Just hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, and like I said earlier, if you uh, can't see somebody else's uh, chat or something, it's probably because they're on the other channel, or if you're, I believe, on computer, on, on the PC, uh, just click live chat instead of top chat, because when top chat happens in, in, in YouTube, like live streams and stuff, um, you won't be able to see some people's chat, <laughs> so uh, yeah, obviously put, put li uh, live chat there instead of top chat. Um, and it's 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 an interesting question, right? And trading up worth it. I feel like if you could guarantee the best out of somebody, you do it. And you know, for me, I believe, and I think we could all agree that one hundred and ten percent, the Raiders will make a call. Not saying that the deal would be done, but I will say they will make the call. There's nothing wrong. It doesn't cost money. It doesn't cost anything to just make a simple call, right? What's up? Hey, Washington. Hey, uh, we want to trade up our players on the board. Um, we want to get them. Uh, what you guys feel? And they'll probably be like, hey, we're looking at that same person. You would have to give us a lot. And the Raiders would probably be like, hey, we'll give you two first rounders and a third and a sixth. We'll give you a future second. And they'll probably be like, hey, you know, we need more. And the Raiders will probably most likely be like, I'm sorry, we can't give up more, man. We don't think it's worth it too much. And close the phone. And then the phone gets closed. And then nothing happens. That's, I think, the highest possibility that might happen. Because <laughs> Washington is going to want a barrage of, 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 I mean, I wouldn't doubt it if it's going to cost four first-round picks, bro. 
I need all seven of your picks and all seven of yours next year. That's what I'm, <laughs> yeah, so it'll be, I'm not saying that's exactly what it is, but yeah. it, it's going to be something crazy. And you that's why I'm like, nah, I'm like everybody talking about F these picks. Like you ain't going to have no picks. We're going to be sitting. We're going to be sitting next year talking about, oh, I'm waiting for a fifth round to come around. <laughs> we we picking on day three. You know what I'm saying? And and eh, we, we we did that before. For me, uh, like I said, if it's the right price, I'm up for it, man. You know, like I said, I'm not on either side. I like both sides. I like both scenarios, really both scenarios. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm also a guy that before, in, in I would say uh, the beginning of the offseason, even last year, I kind of said F them picks because I feel like draft could be a bit overrated sometimes because a lot of people would say, wow, the first round talent, wow, the second round talent. And then they don't end up panning out. It's a high percentage that they don't pan out. Um, so I always said, hey, you know, if you could get better at a certain position, you give up those picks because you could guarantee yourself talent. Um, and I said this, I believe, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I said the same thing Gabe said right there. It's been a slogan of mine this whole offseason. Scared money, don't make money. <laughs> so I'm going to continue saying that. And I believe that if you could get better at a certain position, you pull the trigger. If you can't, and if you're not 100% sold on it, don't do it. And now the Raiders, I don't think they're 100% sold on it yet. I think time will only tell. But for me personally, I'm not I'm not even mad at just staying put at 13. Cause, um, and I see what Cali Raiders said right there. We need a quarterback that can match up against AFC West. You guys want to know an interesting stat? Real quick, an interesting stat about the AFC West. And let me actually bring up the comments so you guys can see while I'm talking about it. You guys want to know an interesting stat about the AFC West? Antonio Pierce, when he took over, they were 3-1 and one against AFC West opponent. Beating the Chiefs. Beating the, the Chargers. And beating the Broncos. I believe he was 3-1 or 3-0. and I forgot the first Chiefs game if he was there. I have and, to go and, look back. And we did that with a rookie quarterback? And a rookie offensive coordinator. Okay. 3-1. and 3-1. 3-1. That's an interesting... Interesting, just something to throw out there in the atmosphere because I haven't seen too many people talk about it. He was three and one. A, 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 a quarterback, a quarterback, that, a, a, a quarterback that was told not to, you know, don't turn the ball over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't be too risky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> play, play it safe. And, and we were three and one. What's good at Capitara Fucho? What's good? What's good? What's good? Uh, defense won that game against the Quiz, and we still won. Just like we lose games because of our defense at times before. Remember um, two years ago, we were all raving about, damn, this defense cost us the game again. This defense cost us the game again. They, they, they let the Rams with Baker Mayfield on a one-week notice one week notice, y'all. Remember this. One week notice. Go down the field for 80 plus, 60 plus yards down the field <laughs> to win the game. <laughs> so, you feel me? Obviously, you know, there's different scenarios, man. You know, I'm just throwing these scenarios out there because at the end of the day, I'm, like I said, and I'll, comp I'll, I'll continue to say it, I'm not on either side. I like both sides. I'm cool with trading up. I'm cool with not trading up. I'm, I'm cool with whatever. I think as I'm long as we could get better and as long as we do better than last year, man, that's all I care about. And I'm trying to aim for the playoffs this season. Yeah, and and let's be clear, trading up. I think the only, I think, I think we're all assuming, but let's let's communication is key, right? I think we're all talking about moving up for a quarterback. We ain't moving up to go get a right tackle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't moving up to go get a wide receiver. That ain't no. 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 
especially in the I, I, first round. I, I'll say it like that because we know that in the in the later round, sometimes you uh, you move up in the fifth or you move up in the fourth or you know what I'm saying. But that first round, yeah, the only thing I'm foreseeing moving up for is the, is is the quarterback. Shout out to Sam Tanka, everybody coming in, man. Capitan Rapucho. If the Raiders gonna address the situation of tight end with Michael Mar, I think the uh, I think in the second round, Raiders gonna pick Court Halsey from Tar Heels. Great ability, speed. You know what? I actually don't know who that is. Me personally, I haven't been really looking at tight ends. Me, <laughs> me personally, uh, but it? I don't think the uh, he said Court Halsey from Tar Heels. Okay. Uh, me personally. I would not go tight end in the second round. <laughs> That's me personally, right? Um, shout out to Anthony Estrada coming in. What's good, Anthony Estrada? What's good, what's good, what's good? Um, so, obviously, my two cents. Salute. Raiders Red Bull Unleashed. What's good, man? Good to see everybody in here, man. I believe you're on my channel now, man. What's good, what's good? Welcome, welcome, man. And welcome, everybody that's new to either channel, man. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. There's always, you could always guarantee, guarantee on my side, right? You could guarantee two lives a week. Okay, you could guarantee that. For Tuan, you could guarantee videos and lives practically every day. So go out there, go hit that subscribe button, go hit that like button. Uh, both links are in the description as well. And also, also, also follow that G. I don't know why my, my night ball is taking an off season off. My night ball is taking an off season off. So um, I don't know when my night ball is going to work. But whenever it works, follow my IG. It's also in the description as well if you're on my channel. Um, you feel me? Uh, I I have the IG, Twitter, but I've been on IG. But once the season starts, I'm going to be tweeting a lot. I'm going to be on Twitter or X now, as it's called. And I'm going to be like, yo, what are the Raiders? You know, I'm going to be tweeting during the game. So make sure. Make sure. Make sure. Tuan has been grinding, man. Shout out to everybody out there grinding, man. Good to see everybody eat. Um, so obviously, there's two sides of the spectrum. I'm interested to see what would happen draft day, but... I don't know about you guys, but one thing we could all agree on, I'm excited and nervous <laughs> for the draft. I'm excited as hell. But, but it's I'm a good nervous. nervous. As... It's a good nervous. It's a, it's good, a good nervous. nervous. It's a good nervous. Because I know we're going to get a good player. It's just a matter of time if it's a stay at 13 and get a future right tackle or trade up and get a quarterback. Like Either or, we're getting a good player. And I'm excited, but also very, very I don't know. I'm just very excited, man. <laughs> I'm actually very excited. <laughs> so, um, obviously, uh, it's only less than a month away. I think it's 29 days now. Mm -hmm. I you someone talked about getting you know, and I like Michael Penix too at quarterback, but um, you know, not getting him at 13, and I and I I agree with that. You know, one of my brothers said it. it he said it perfectly, and it was ac actually how I agree. Um, you know, Auntie Six talked about it. He's like, well, you know, if we stay at 13, is it smart for us to get the fifth quarterback? Or is it smart for us to get the top corner or the top <laughs> right tackle at 13? What's the better value? You know what I'm saying? And the better value is getting the top player at at at, at the respective position and not, you know going for the fourth or fifth quarterback <laughs> coming out, you know what I'm saying, at 13. There's going to be some guys there, – there's going to be some top guys at their position at 13 if we stay at 13. So, you know, you 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 got you got to look at it in that way too. Thanks, man. And Gabe says, <clears throat> Mahomes, Rogers, Jackson, Allen, Burrow, Stroud, Herbert, Lawrence, Watson, Tua, those are quarterbacks in the NBC, so we, we might get to playoffs with – this um those are all good quarterbacks you know they're all good quarterbacks i do believe that rogers we don't know what we're gonna get from him uh jackson i mean good player allen burrow burrow's going through injuries who knows if he'll catch another one Stroud's a really good goddamn quarterback and we should have got him last year but you know somebody by the name of uh not to be said yeah <laughs> not to be said uh cost us that uh, watson watson's not what he used to be to uh good so yeah I, I practically agree with your list man there there's a lot of hard-hitting quarterbacks a lot of good well-built teams i will say that will bet good will bet built teams there we go 
Um, so obviously, um, the AFC is going to be a dog fight. I really truly believe that. And the Raiders, if they want to make the playoffs, they got to do. They got to get better at certain positions right now. And there is, I believe, there's. I believe there's like three places where you could automatically get better. Three. And I believe that's the cornerback, the quarterback, and the tackle or offensive line in general. I think you could get better. The quarterback, I'm not saying guaranteed getting better, but there is getting better. It's, it's out there. But the worst case scenario is these two quarterbacks, and I'm cool with it too, right? I think, and I'm going to give another prediction, which I predicted right last year when, when Josh McDaniels was dropped. I said, we have one of the best staffs in the AFC West as a whole. Not head coach, but as a whole. And I'm keeping that prediction for this year. I think we have one of the best coaching staffs in the AFC in general as far as all of them, not just the head coach. The head coach, obviously... Antonio Pierce still got to show a little some, you feel me? But I believe as a whole, position coaches, coaches we brought in, as a whole, I believe we have the best one. Andy Reid is still the best head coach, you know, I hate to say it, in the AFC West. Um, you could even say Jim Harbaugh now is number two, whatever the case may be. But I truly believe that we have one of the best coaching staffs in general, as, as a staff. In, in, in the AFC. And that's going to help a lot. Especially getting somebody like Marvin Lewis on the team, by the way. I, I think people forget that. We have Marvin Lewis on the team. A guy that arguably made one of the best defensive teams. I believe defensive teams, if I'm not mistaken. Defensive teams. And, and I think we also need to, you know, put it in perspective that AP is still learning. You know what I'm saying? There, there might be some times we might be screaming for AP to call timeout <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying, or, or whatever the situation may be, or throw the flag, and and he may fumble that. You know what I'm saying? He's still going to be learning. There's going to be, you know, I'm not going to say he's, you know, he's making, he's going to be making rookie mistakes, but he's he's still, he's still learning. So th 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 there's good that he has guys around him you know what I'm saying? That that can help him stay on task. You know what I'm saying? There's a Marvin Lewis to say, hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I see this. Or, you know what I'm saying? You have, you know, Patrick Graham. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's put some more respect on Patrick Graham. Patrick Graham is is, you know, he's he's a good defensive head, you know, he's a defensive coach, good defensive coach in his own right. So there's a lot of good minds around him that, you know, will will help him. You know what I'm saying in in the process, and I think you know I think that's I think that's the benefits of us having him, you know, and and the team rallying around him. You know, saying the reports that players are are you know in the off season they're coming into work. You know what I'm saying, and they're they're working out together, and and you know when they could be doing their own thing, they're they're coming to the facility and 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 you know getting that connection and that camaraderie together now you know what I'm saying and I think that's definitely going to help us you know in, into the next season shout out to shout out to the Raider room in the building what's good Raider room good to see you hope all is well. shout out to D Menace in the building what's good D Menace good to see you man um we're just talking about the draft right now quarterback situation um I don't know bro I just ah uh... Can the draft just already happen, bro? I'm, like, I'm like just, can it be tomorrow? Can it really it's be like, tomorrow? It's like we, this can be a huge topic going forward, and it's like I just want it to end. I just want to know the answer. What is the result? What is the Raiders gonna do? What is the result, bro? Did 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 everybody everybody did their pro day right? Um, Jaden did his. Drake Jayden May did, did his. Penix did it today. Caleb did it. Um, Alabama did it. So what we waiting on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like after the after the pro days, like hey, we we might just go ahead and get your suit. Go ahead, go ahead and get in get get in the backstage. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like immediately after Jaden Daniels did his pro day, he should have just put on his his tux and was like, "Hey, I, I, I'm on my way." Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let, come on, let's do it. Let, 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 let's go ahead and get the draft out of the way. Facts, man. And speaking of the draft, um, obviously, um, there's two things that I wanted to say. Um, one thing is that the first round of the draft, I don't know if I'm going to go live for that. I will say that. I don't know. I don't know. Because uh, I might have people over, so that means I might not be able to do it. But I will give my post analysis. I believe at that night, hopefully, or as a YouTube show or something. I don't know something. The day two and day three, I will be live. As of right now, by myself, unless you feel me, Juan, anybody wants to join me. Uh, but I will be live on day two and day three, I believe. So it's gonna be very interesting. Uh, my live reaction of these picks. Um, and I love the draft. I think draft is one of my my uh, exciting things besides free agency. Well, obviously, those are two of the obvious things. But the draft is, like, number one because a lot of surprises happen. And, you know, when those surprises happen, we're either mad or not. And if you guys remember the Alex Leatherwood pick, you guys all remember that everybody was going through a wall. Which I almost went through a wall that day, and that I was that was your favorite pick. What are you talking about? I was. <laughs> I threw my. <laughs> if only I was doing YouTube at that time, bro, you would have seen me go through a wall, literally, <laughs> or through a table, Swanton bomb, Jeff Hardy, that shit, bro. We would have had to do a GoFundMe for Eric's new new new, new laptop computer. <laughs> that would have been damaged. <laughs> Um, uh, the new league rules can't tackle the hip anymore. It's complete bullcrap, the clearest tackle ever, which I kind of talked about it on my show on Tuesday, but there was some new league rules, y'all. New league rules. I like the trade rule because that, instead of it being the trade deadline after week eight, it's now after week nine, which is good. Really good, I think, for the NFL and good for us. The trade deadline gets extended one extra week. That is good. The other thing that is kind of 50 50 on a lot of people is the 50, uh, it's the kickoff. Now the kickoffs are going to have meaning instead of it being always a touchback. So until the, the kick returner ends up receiving the ball, then both sides can move. Which actually, I have the video, but it's set up in like this format, which would would practically only show me. So uh, I'm not going to show it. But if you guys want to no, see go what ahead, it is, go ahead, go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just, Let me just share pull. My screen real quick. Yeah, just pull, pull me in later. It's really only gonna take like thirty seconds. So it's really it's all good. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. I, you know, I'll say this too while you while you pulling it up. I think it's similar to um, what I heard is 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 similar to the uh, arena arena football rules mm. on kickoff. So if you watch arena football, you, it, it'll look similar. I think I could get you to still talk. Do me a favor. Yeah. Uh, calm down so you can still be able to talk. Let me let me actually do this. For shizzle. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. There we go. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to both channels, Raider Twan and SE Raiders Talk. Yep, yep, yep. So here you guys go. Let me actually show it. So this is the hybrid kickoff model right here, um, as you guys can see. And let me play it for you guys. As you guys can see, both lines there, until he receives the ball, then they go see that. Now it gives the kickoff more meaning. I believe the punter punts it. I I, I believe so. So that means AJ Cole is going to have himself a, a field day right there. right? Um, but obviously, one more time for everybody that hasn't seen it right there on the bottom of your screen. Until he receives it, both lines go. Um, that's one of the picks there. Then obviously, the trade deadline extended one more week instead of week eight. And then the NFL has banned the hip drop tackle. If you don't know what it is, then it's the same one as you can see in this video. This is where Tony Pollard got hurt. I think he tore his ACL. This is the hip drop tackle. It's a tackle 
that has used a lot on heavy backs. Derrick Henry, that, that's possibly the only way you could get him from the side. <laughs> so this is going to be a very interesting season for both fantasy football and the teams that have these power backs. <laughs> I will say that. Or even speed backs. Or actually, any back. Any because, back. Yeah, because if you go through the side, it's pretty much you're running next to him. The only way to pretty much tackle him is either tripping him or doing this. It's, it's, it's going to be very interesting what they end up having to do in regards to that tackling because, you know, we were already talking about, you know, a, a lot of us have been talking about how a lot of play, it, a lot of defense is based on angles. You know what I'm saying? And if you take the wrong angle, you know what I'm saying, to approach the person that can mess up your, you know what I'm saying, your tackle. So, this 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 move that they just banned was kind of like a move that if I happen to kind of not take a, a proper angle but still am in the proximity, I can still make a you know what I'm saying bring the bring the player down. So now it's gonna be more important that these players take the proper angle um in regards to tackling. And you know, to be honest with you, I think they're gonna there's gonna be a situation where they're going to um, some defensive coordinator, somebody's going to bring up some some new new way of tackling. Um, oh yeah, to kind of you know loophole the situation. In both rugby and football, I've never made a hip drop tackle, and I've been recently watching a lot of rugby. I ain't gonna lie, they the way they tackle, bro. They, you know, I want to doubt if some NFL players go look at rugby to go see the sorts of ways they tackle, and you'll probably see some ways to tackle, right? Um, you could cam up and stuff like that. Let me take this off real quick. There we go. Let me get you back on. There we go. You're back. Um, but yeah, obviously those are the new league rules. Interesting rules. I like the trade deadline rule, especially the kickoff rule. I could see the positive and negatives. Negatives is it looks kind of weird, but the positives is it brings meaning to the kickoff. It brings meaning. So now you actually need a kick returner, and you actually need a punter slash kicker. Which we got all of that. <laughs> I I, th I think the trade deadline. I think that was a no brainer, especially since yeah. they extended. You know what I'm saying? Extended how many more weeks that we have in the? You know what I'm saying? In the league, I think I I think you also need to extend the trade deadline. It would it would have sucked to be uh, and I and I'm talking about I'm talking figuratively, but it would have sucked to be like oh the trade deadline's in week five and you know what I'm saying the season don't end until week you know twenty like. They they gotta make it somewhere in the halfway mark of of the season. So I think that one was the easiest um decision to make. Yeah. So obviously those are some things. Um I I think that that extra game I see right there, Joe Ritter, that they're working on getting another game to the schedule. I'm all for it. More football, more love. But I think you would have to Throw a second bye week in there. In my gonna, either they they either going to have to do that or they're going to have to maximize uh, the amount of players um, you can actually keep on the roster. Keep on the roster. Mm -hmm. they, they 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 and I and to be honest with you, I rather them do both. I rather them you know maximize you know a add three four more guys to to your 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 active roster. Or, you know, and give a, a extra, you know what I'm saying, uh, bye week. Mm. So, um, obviously, there's different things, man, to, to look at. And D Menace, my nightball does not work, bro. My nightball does not work. So it sucks. We can't do that yet. I don't know why it's not working. I have to try to figure it out. But my nightball's not working. But if you guys want to hey, support the channel, you feel me? Uh, you're pretty much underneath where it says subscribe or or whatever it says join. There's a join button next to it if you're on computer, on p uh, on on phone. I'm not sure how it how it works, but I know on computer it's right there. Um, and also follow my Instagram, man. They're in the description below. Um, but yeah, man. If you guys want to support anything, man, I'll greatly appreciate it. everything goes towards the channel. And sooner or later, I will have actually sooner. Hopefully, I'm gonna get a microphone soon. So if you don't want to. You feel me? I got to get a new microphone because this microphone is, uh, yeah, I need a better one. 
But besides that, you feel me? That's pretty much for today, man. Anything else you want to say on, on football notice before we get to the end of it? You know what? I, no, I'm I'm good. You know, I think mm -hmm. I I just I think you know in regards to, um, there's so many ways. Like we talked about it, there's so many ways in which we can fill out this roster. We're not that yeah. far away, but there's yeah. there's also some things, you know, down the line, down down the years, and down the time that we we definitely have to to look at and and address. And I think Telesco is the right guy for that. You know what I'm saying? I think that's, you know, we, I think some of us hated, hated the Telesco move, you know what I'm saying? But I think, you know, over time we'll, we'll understand why, um, why he's here. Oh, shit. Oh, that's because you can't. That's me. I, I clicked okay, on yeah. it. Um, but yeah. obviously there's different things to look at. Uh, I'm very interested to see what they do. Um, you know, like I said, um, subscribe to both of us we're gonna do we're gonna be dropping more raider content heading up to the draft um i got a video second video i have a first official video already out there y'all if you want to see um it's over there um get them views or get the hit, hit them like buttons over there throw your comment down there too i'll reply um but also i appreciate that d minutes man d minutes right there man um there's the ig if you want to know when i'm gonna go live i post it usually a, a day before on instagram all those different things go over there go on my instagram right there see raiders talk also, 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 uh, besides that, there's a video coming soon. There's a video coming soon um, about the draft, about trading up uh, that I'm going to do. That's not going to be more than six minutes at all. Um, I like the shorter videos because I feel like me personally, when I go on YouTube, I like the short videos, like something I could watch quickly while I'm eating or something and then leaving or stuff like that. So um, another video uh, is coming soon, very soon, actually. I might, re I might record it over the weekend. And then probably drop it Monday, um, like always. And you feel me? Twan, let, let them know, man. What content you got coming, man? Man, I be cooking. You know what I'm saying? I be cooking in the, in, in the back. So okay, I, okay. I, 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 got, I got something, you know what I'm saying? I think we talked a little bit about it today, um, you know, about F them picks. That would be something that I'll be dropping next week. Okay. My schedule is a little crazy because this weekend, definitely everybody, you know, it's Easter weekend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that that. <laughs> has thrown my, you know what I'm saying, throwing my little schedule a little off. Um, but you guys definitely stay tuned. I'll be dropping that. Um I am on the 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 way for uh 500 subscribers. So if you guys can um you know what I'm saying please come on over to Raider Twan and subscribe. Um, I will be giving a lucky subscriber a pair of Black Air Forces. Um, Damn, Black Air Forces, yeah. By, by week one, if we get to 500 subscribers. So if we get to 500, then you definitely um, need to be on the lookout because uh, Black Air Forces possibly might be coming your way. So, um, yeah, and and again, that 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 all relies on you guys. I, 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 I say, you know, Holly said it earlier, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the grind. You know what I'm saying? The content's going to be there, but it's all up to you guys to subscribe. So definitely please um, come on over and, you know, I'm trying to make YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Buy some Raider gear. That's all I'm trying to do. So definitely um, have YouTube buy Raider gear. Yep. And <clears throat> besides that, also, like I said, I'm going to be dropping a video soon, hopefully Monday. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, I, I like doing these videos, man. I'm I'm starting. Uh, bear with me. I'm getting used to the editing. You feel me? I'm not a, I'm not an expert like others yet, uh, but I will get there eventually on, on, on fixing that up. So if you guys haven't seen my recent one, go look at it, man. It's it's called... Uh, damn, I don't even know my own thing, bro. Honestly, <laughs> I, I'd be forgetting, bro. Uh, hidden gems, man. Raiders in the hunt for key pieces, man. And I talk a little bit about the draft. I talk about what we got. What was some underlining signings that we got, like Andrew James and stuff like that. That's not bad as we think. And all those different things. I don't want to spoil everything. Go check it out. It's not that long at all. It's literally like three minutes and six seconds, man. I, I'm pretty sure everybody got three minutes to go watch it. Go leave a comment as well. And I, I will get to it 
uh, right when I get the notification. So I appreciate you guys, man. And another video drop is soon about the draft. Monday, Monday, most likely. Monday or Wednesday. But every live on Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern with the new format I got going on. And with my boy Raider Tuan on Thursdays on the 2 for 1 Nation podcast around the same time. Probably now 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern, uh, pretty much every Thursday. Mm -hmm. And maybe you'll see some surprise lives from me. Maybe on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, maybe over the weekend. It depends. Uh, but for sure, a lot of draft content coming soon, man. And uh, I'm excited. So and, and, and my schedule too, you know, in, in regards to that, because I just, I just, just thought about that. Yep. My schedule is obviously Thursdays, but Tuesdays is, is the same thing. So you, 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 you can get a whole bunch of Raider content because you can watch me before Eric because I start at 2 30 3 o'clock on Tuesdays um Pacific time so right, right after I'm done you can slide right over to Eric and, and and show him some love um too so and if if you can't you know the, the replay is always good hit the like button say something in the comment section for both of us we both look at our comments you know what I'm saying and and we we do get involved so if you have a question or you know what I'm saying a comment we definitely will respond. And, and there's there's shows throughout the days, y'all. You know, it ain't only us two, man. And at the end of the day, man, like I said, I went into 2024 dropping everything in my brain, man. Everything from the past, everything to do. You know, I, I'm a guy about positivity now moving forward and really straight positive now. Um, and I don't really, you know, the people that really know me that know that I don't really talk to anybody pretty much. Because <laughs> I kind of stay in my own lane because I got a lot of things to worry about uh, personally now. So... Of course, man. Shout out to everybody out there doing Raider content, man. I see a lot of new Raider content creators, and I, I'll, I'll pop into your guys' live, man. I need to go check everybody out that's new. And also check out the people that you see in the chat, man. My boy Raider Gabe got a got a, got a live usually at like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. at late night uh, there with the squad over there. Um, you feel me? Go 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 out there. Go, go support them. Go support everybody I see. I know... Um, there's another one. I, I believe it's, he's in the chat. Raider Rebel. I think he's a new one. Yeah. Hey, go check him out as well, man. Go check him out. I'm going to go check it out as well, man. I, I've heard he's new, so I'm going to go check that out. Go, go support everybody, man. I know Holly eventually is going to start being consistent. Uh, she's taking, like, I would like to call an Eric, where you take breaks here and there. Uh, but go check her out and check I, out Dark and I, all that. I had to get I had to get her on on last last Tuesday. You yeah. know, what I'm saying I I had I had I had to get the queen on the show. You know, what I'm saying so I definitely had to get Holly in. But e e even even with me, if you want, um, you know, I, I'm I'm I I collab with all content creators. You know, what I'm saying all that that are willing to have me on their show. Um, so if you are interested in hitting me up, just hit me up on IG and. You know, I I will I will make an effort to to be on the show. Yep, and shout out to everybody else, man. Like I said, there's so many content creators out there, man. Um, people that I respect and stuff like that. And um, you know, all you gotta do is just look up probably Raider News or just Raiders, and they'll all pop up, right? Um, shout out to everybody though, man. I seen Critique in here too, man. Critique, shout out to Critique, man. Doing this for a yes, very man. long time. One of the OGs that don't get enough recognition, man. Go support him as well. And support everybody else, man. I've seen Natural Born Raider, my boy Dirty. I've seen everybody in here, man. Go support everybody. Um, and, like, they're so on, so on. Raider Allegiance in the morning. Sometimes I catch it. Sometimes I don't because I'm either at, at work, you feel me, or I'm barely waking up after he's done. Like, it's crazy. But um, shout out to everybody, man. Hey, much respect to everybody out there, man. Like I said, no problems. It's 2024 for me, man. And it's all love from here. And, of course, I'm going to start bringing in people to 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 uh the lives as well i haven't been collabing but i think it's time to collab talk to a few people get them on the show talk about things and um shout out to everybody protect the shield all of them leo all of them as well um, so salute to y'all man on that note y'all another two for one nation podcast man your boy sc raiders talk it, your boy eric and my boy raider twan man also known as twan or twan twan whatever you want to call him or the king of brown crackers there man and anything before we go go Man, be a blessing to somebody else. You're a blessing. Yep. I know I said it opposite. You're a blessing. Be a blessing to someone else. That's how you say it. That's how you say it. It's even I got to get my words right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Quit playing with yourself. Subscribe. And always, Randy, I try to do that, man. I see I see 
in, in other places, you feel me? Um, not many people's comments get pulled up. And me, I'm a guy that, hey, I want I want to get to everybody's comment. I want to make sure that everybody uh, gets heard and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, man, to me, and like I said, man, I used to be negative back then. But now I'm more positive, man. And I, I respect everybody's opinions and stuff like that, man. And I think you guys are all... You know, everybody, everybody, everybody doing their thing, man, and, and give you good take. So let me, uh, le uh, let me let y'all on some info you need. Nate Wiggins is cornerback one. I like Nate Wiggins for Clemson, man. But stay tuned, y'all. More drafting stuff like that, and I see a lot of people yelling this. So you already know what it is, man. All day, every. And happy Easter to everybody. I if, if I don't catch y'all on anything, uh, you know, any other YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Let let the kids run around and eat as many eggs as they want and, and all that great stuff. You know, you, you you hate it now, but you'll enjoy it later when when you when right. you really think about it. Family, whoever it is, you know what I'm saying? It might not even be your blood, you know what I'm saying? Just people that love and care about you. If you can be around them this this coming weekend, go ahead and do that. And, Shout and out to Faith. Shout out to Faith. Hope I win them Air Forces to wear with them Jada Daniels jersey. There you go. Hey, Shout out to you. Hey, do 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 that. And also, you know, be, be also the for those. I know that sometimes this this time of the year can be tough for some people because you know some people may not be around, you know, for for reasons. So definitely, um, you can always hit me up. You know, know that I'm always praying for for those. Um, you know, praying for you guys and yeah. and you know, hoping that. As time things get better, facts and life is short, so always tell your loved ones you love them. And if you're new here, you know, Cool Kev is our resident keeping SE humble. So whenever you see him say anything, he's keeping me humble. He's our, he's our fellow humble guy. Uh, but besides that, man, shout out to everybody behind the scenes as well. All lies, man. My boy Prez, shout out to you guys, man, for helping me as well. And Terrence, man, shout out to Terrence. I believe his birthday was yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. So happy birthday, Terrence, man. One of, one of the best mods out there, King of the Mods, all that stuff, man. Shout out to you. There's like 85. Damn. Me personally, <laughs> I wouldn't take that. I wouldn't take that. But shout out to my boy, Terrence, man. Uh, good to uh, hope hope you had a good one, man. And on that note, y'all, SC Raiders Talk, your boy Raider Twan, Two for One Nation podcast, man. Until next time, y'all, next week, next Thursday. Um, we'll see you then. I love Shout out to y'all. Yep. Peace out. It's the